Hello everyone! Today we are starting a new section in the cycle of the discipline Basics of Computer Graphics. And in this section we will study the basics of working in the AutoCAD program. Today's topic – the basics of working in the computer program AutoCAD, exploring and customizing the interface. This discipline will guide by seminar teacher Domene Inessa Anatolievna. On this subject, we'll learn how to use the AutoCAD software and get the practice how to create first drafts. In the future, this software will be the primary tool for your professional life. Before you can start to use the new capabilities of the AutoCAD software, you must become familiar with the basics. So, today aims is to explore the AutoCAD interface, we'll be introduced how to customize the working space of AutoCAD and how to work with command window. Starting AutoCAD AutoCAD was released in 1982 by Autodesk, which was a small company at that time. It was designed to be used for PC only. Since then AutoCAD has enjoyed the biggest user base in the world in the CAD business. Users can use AutoCAD for both 2D and 3D drafting and designing. AutoCAD can be used for architectural, structural, mechanical, electrical, environmental and manufacturing drawings and for road and highway designs. Though the focus those days is BIM. Building Information Modeling AutoCAD is still the most profitable software for Autodesk due to its ease of use and comprehensiveness which address all users' needs. Another version of AutoCAD called AutoCAD LT is used only for 2D drafting. To start AutoCAD, double-click the shortcut on your desktop that was created in the installation process. AutoCAD will show the welcome window, which looks like the following. While you are in this part, you can start a new drawing, open an existing file, open a sheet set, download more templates accessed online, explore the sample file that come with the software, See the recent files you opened. Check if AutoCAD has a notification for you concerning your software hardware. Connect to Autodesk 360, Autodesk Cloud. Send your feedback to Autodesk. AutoCAD interface The AutoCAD interface is based on ribbons and the application menu. The most important feature of this interface is that the size of the graphical area will be bigger. Application menu The application menu contains file-related commands. Included are commands such as creating a new file, opening an existing file, saving the current file, saving the current file under a new name and in a different folder exporting the current file to a different file format, printing and publishing the current file, etc. We will discuss almost all of those comments in different places in this course. By default you will see the recent files. You can choose how to display the recent files in the application menu using this control, like small icons, large icons, small images, large images. Also, you can choose how to sort the recent files using the control by ordered list, by access date, by size or by type. Quick Access Toolbar This toolbar contains all file commands mentioned in the application menu along with Workspace and Undo Redo. 
The users can customize this toolbar by clicking the arrow at the end, which will bring up the following. As you can see, the user can add or remove comments. Clicking Show menu bar may also be useful because the ribbon doesn't include all AutoCAD comments. If you are already familiar with the Microsoft Office Suite, you may recognize some program features such as the ribbon and the application menu, which you use for choosing commands or changing system settings. But even if AutoCAD's new look does seem a little familiar in places, many aspects of the program's appearance and some of the ways in which you work with it are quite different from other Windows programs. Depending on the workspace you have chosen to use, you can in many cases tell the program what to do in at least five ways. Pick a toolbar button, pick from a pull-down menu, pick a tool button from a ribbon panel, type as a keyboard or choose from a right-click menu none of which is necessarily the best method to use for every task. A workspace is a collection of menus, palettes, toolbars and ribbon panels tailored for specific tasks such as 3D modeling or 2D drafting. After you switch workspaces, AutoCAD remembers which one you last used and opens in that one. Four standard workspaces are created when you install AutoCAD. Drafting and Annotation This workspace is configured for a 2D drafting environment with ribbon tabs and panels optimize it for technical drawing in two dimensions. 3D Basics This workspace is designed to help you get your feet with 3D modeling. It leaves out the solid surface and mesh object creation tabs and provides simplified panels in the other tabs. 3D Modeling This ribbon-based workspace is configured for a 3D modeling environment with navigation, visualization and modeling tools suitable for working in 3D. AutoCAD Classic This workspace is configured for a 2D drafting environment with toolbars and tool palette arrangement similar to those in AutoCAD till 2008 and earlier. Unraveling the ribbon The primary interface element in the drawing and annotation, 3D basics and 3D modeling workspaces is the ribbon. An adjustable area that contains different collections of tab task oriented collection of panels. Some panels are thus marked with a little black triangle on the panel label, have more tools concealed on a slide out. Click the panel label to open the slide out. You can click the push pin icon to pin the slide out open. Otherwise, it will slide away home after you click a button. In AutoCAD, you can click and drag a ribbon panel and pull it into the drawing area. So if, for example, you find yourself doing a whack of dimensioning, but you also want to move away from the annotated tab to other ribbon tabs, you can drag the dimensions panel into the drawing and it will stay put even as you switch to other panels or tabs. Just be sure to put it back where it came from when you are finished with it. Autodesk's programmers see the ribbon as an 
alternative way of interacting with the program. Theoretically, the ribbon eliminates the need for menus and separate toolbars, also the change of wires may think otherwise. The ribbon is fully customizable. By default, the ribbon is docked at the top of the screen, but it can be docked against any edge anchored to the left or right side of the AutoCAD window, or floated. To gain some screen space, you can click the little white button to the right of the last tab on the ribbon's tab bar to reduce the amount of space the ribbon takes, or use the drop-down menu next to the little white button to tailor the ribbon's display to just the way you want it. Instead of menus of grouped commands like Draw, Modify, Insert, and so forth, the tabs are organized by task as follows. Home The Home tab contains Draw, Modify, Layers, Annotation, Block, Properties, Groups, Utilities and Clipboard panels. Some panels may be displayed as collapsed depending on your screen resolution. As an example, the five panels at the right end of the annotate tab are in a collapsed state. Insert tab. This tab groups blocks and reference panel as well as point cloud tool import commands and series of commands for working with non-graphical information, including attributes, fields, and data links. Annotate tab. The Annotate tab expands on the minimalist annotation panel on the Home tab, with many more options for creating text dimensions, letters and tablets, as well as markup functions and a few annotation scaling tools. Layout This tab includes a series of panels used to create and modify paper space layouts and to create 2D drawings, views from 3D models. Parametric tab this tab is home for one of AutoCAD's most powerful features, parametric drawing. You can apply geometric or dimensional parameters or constraints to drawing objects so that, say, two circles are always concentric or the length of a rectangle is always twice its width. View tab the View tab contains tools and panels for controlling drawing display, working with viewports, loading various palettes and organizing Windows functions such as cascading open files or displaying different parts of the application window. Manage tab. This tab contains panels that access the action recorder, CAD standards, neither of which is an AutoCAD LT, and a set of drawing management and customization tools. Output Panels on this tab allow you to get the drawings of your hands by printing, also known as plotting, publishing, exporting to PDF or DWF files, or simply sending them electronically to others. Plug-ins. This tab is present in both AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT also in LT version. There is only one panel instead of two. Both versions have a content panel with a single explore button that runs the new content explorer tool. After you let it index your file folders Content Explorer can window through all your drawings looking for specific blocks, layers, layouts, and even text strings. 
AutoCAD itself also has an inventor fusion panel, from which you can edit solids and surfaces in a stripped down version of AutoCAD Inventor. Status bar The application status bar appears at the bottom of the AutoCAD screen. The status bar displays and allows you to change several important drawings, modes, aids and settings that affect how you draw and edit in the current drawing. You can set status bar buttons to display icons or the traditional text labels that will be familiar to users of early releases. To switch from one style to the other, right-click any of the drawing mode buttons and the left side of the status bar and select or deselect use icons. Some of the status bar settings won't make complete sense until you have used the AutoCAD commands that they influence. But here is a brief description with references to detailed description of how to use each settings, starting at the left end of the status bar. Coordinates of the crosshairs The coordinates readout display the current X, Y, Z location of the crosshairs in the drawing area with respect to the origin point, whose coordinates are 0, 0, 0. If the coordinates in the lower left corner of the screen are grayed out, coordinate tracking is turned off. Click the coordinate so that they appear in dark numbers that change when you move the crosshairs in the drawing area. Infer constraints. Parameter constraints were new in AutoCAD 2010. When infer constraints is enabled, you automatically set geometry based constraints as you draw. Snap mode constraints the crosshairs to regularly spaced intervals enabling you to draw objects a fixed distance apart more easily. Grid display displays a series of graph paper style lines or regularly spaced dots which serve as a distance reference. Also mode constrains the crosshairs to horizontal and vertical movement which makes drawing orthogonal straight, horizontal, and vertical. Polar tracking Polar tracking causes the crosshairs to jump to certain angles when you draw and edit object. The default angle settings are multiple of 90 degrees, but you can specify other angle increments such as 45 or 30 degrees. Ortho and polar tracking are mutually exclusive. Turning on one mode disables the other. Object Snap Object Snap is another AutoCAD tool for ensuring precision drawing and editing. You use Object Snap to grab points on existing objects, for example, the end point of a line or the center of a circle. 3D Object Snap With AutoCAD's enhanced 3D capabilities, an extension of object snaps into the third dimension was a given. Enabling the mod lets you snap to the precise center of a face, a vertex, the midpoint of an edge, or a number of similar 3D points you can't get to with regular object snaps. Object Snap Tracking When you turn an Object Snap Tracking, AutoCAD 
hunts in a more sophisticated way for points that are derived from object snap points. Allow or disallow dynamic UCS. This one's for 3D object creation and so isn't included in AutoCAD LT. Must AutoCAD primitive objects such as lines, arcs and circles are planar and you have to set an appropriate 2D plane in 3D dimensions if you want to work in 3D. Dynamic input Dynamic input displays comments, options, prompts and user input in a tooltip adjacent to the crosshairs and enables you to keep focused on what you are drawing. In addition, the dynamic input tool tip displays that what you type in response to prompts. Show or hide line weight. One of the properties that you can assign to objects in AutoCAD is line weight. The thickness that lines appear when you plot the drawing. This button controls whether you see the line weights on the screen. Show or hide transparency. You can assign transparency to individual objects or to all objects on a given layer. Similar to the line weight button, this button controls whether objects assigned the transparency property appear transparent or opaque. Quick properties When quick properties is enabled, selecting an object in the drawing displays a pop-up window that lists a selection of properties of that object. You can choose which properties you want displayed by right-clicking the QP button and choosing settings. Selection cycling It's remarkably easy in AutoCAD to draw objects on top of other objects and not be able to tell you have done so. When selection cycling is enabled, an icon showing two overlapping rectangles appears beside the crosshairs if AutoCAD finds more than one object under them. If you then click to select a selection window pops up showing you how many objects and of what type are under the point that you pick it. Annotation Monitor when using associative annotations such as dimensions, it's possible for the link between the annotation and the objects is annotated to get broken. When turned on, the annotation monitor warns you of this and highlights the offending objects. AutoCAD's drawing area is composed of two overlapping environments. Model space is where you create your model geometry and paper space is where you compose your drawing sheet to document that geometry. Clicking this button when the model tab is active that is your in full screen model space switches you to a paper space layout. A completed layout includes viewports which reveal the objects in model space at a particular scale. After you switch to a paper space layout, clicking this button toggles between paper space and model space within the layout. The button label switches from model to paper to show you which space you are in. Model and Layout Those two buttons disappear if Model and Layout tabs are displayed. Clicking the Model button switches 
you're out of the layout and back to full screen model space. If model and layout tabs are displayed, you click the model tab to switch to full screen model space. Click in layout switches you to whichever paper space layout was active when you switch it to model space. Also note that the tool tip for the laid out button displays the name of the layout, which might be changed from the default layout 1 or layout 2. Quick view layouts. Clicking this button displays a horizontal row of graphic images of all layouts in the current drawing. Click a layout image to make that layout current. The quick view toolbar below the layout images contains buttons for pinning the quick view layouts bar so it stays open creating a new layout, publishing the selected layout and closing quick view layouts. Quick view drawings. Clicking this button displays a row of graphic images of all open drawings. Click a drawing image to make it active. Quick view drawing includes the same quick view toolbar as quick view layouts. Maximize or minimize viewport. When you're looking at one of the layout tabs, Instead of the model tab, the status bar displays an additional maximize viewport button. Click this button to expand the current paper space viewport so that it fills the entire drawing area. Click the button, now called minimize viewport, again to restore the viewport to its normal size. Comment window. By default, the comment window is floating, but you can dock it at the bottom or the top of the screen. Reading the comment window all the time will save lots of wasted time trying to figure out what AutoCAD wants. AutoCAD will show two things at the comment window your comments and AutoCAD prompts asking you to perform a particular action. For example, specify a point, input an angle, etc. In AutoCAD, primary access to the display comments is via the navigation bar that appears by default at the right edge of the program window. AutoCAD also has a view cube that provides an alternative to the Orbit tool. One of AutoCAD's advantages over manual drawing is its ability to show you different views of your drawing. You can zoom in close, zoom out to a great distance and pan around. In fact, not only can you zoom and pan in your drawing, but in most kinds of drawing you must also do it frequently to be able to draw and edit effectively. Technical drawings are jam-packed with lines, text and dimensions. Zooming and panning frequently enables you to see the details better, draw more confidently because you can see what you are doing, and edit more quickly because Object selection is easier when there aren't a zillion objects on the screen. Panning means changing your viewing position without changing the magnification of the view. If you zoom in enough that some of your drawing no longer shows up on screen, you're going to want to pan around, move left, right, up and down in your drawing without zooming in and out. AutoCAD makes panning easy with scroll bars and real-time panning. Real-time panning 
It is simply means you can see the object moving around the screen as you drag the mouse up and down or back and forth. Here our introduction with AutoCAD will finish and on next seminar we'll learn how to create our first drafts. See you later!